Hi, busy bees. Hillary, live from Austin here. Gross and sweaty and all that. Um, I just came back from a very spirit-filled morning, um, both at uh, the Huto Detention Center, um, where they are keeping, it's a detention center right on the border where they're keeping families separated. Um, and then before that, we were um, all gathered together with the bishops against gun violence um, to really give a public witness here in the middle of Austin as well. So two protests back and back to back, all with prayer, all with worship, all with thousands of us gathered together. Um, I tried to do live video for you all so you could be a part of it. Unfortunately, it was not not working. Uh, we had no cell service, but um, there is a live feed of the whole thing, especially the Huto event um, that I've posted onto the Hive as well. Um, so you can you can watch it that way. Um, instead of the live feed, what I'll do right now is try to give you some of my impressions of all of this. Let me turn off this light so it's not so strange. Um, I it was it was. A blessing to be there. It was, um, first of all, to hear this morning the impassioned cries of um, of so many of parents who had been affected because they've lost their children in gun violence in schools. Um, maybe I'll try this. Nope, not better. Anyway, that's what live video is about, right? Um, that it was. It was incredibly moving. It was. Um, Heart wrenching. In fact, heart wrenching is the word I would use um, to hear uh, to hear how the statistics of how many have been um, how many have been hurt, how many have been lost, how many lives we have lost. Um, following that, there was a what I would call and uh, what the bishop who introduced her called a modern day prophet, um, a rising freshman in the Waco School District who talked about what it's like to be a student um, in this day and age, what, having to go to school afraid every day, um, and how it is time to make a change. Um, it was beautiful and very powerful. From there, we all boarded buses uh, or carpooled out to the Huto Detention Center, uh, where we gathered for prayers. Um, Bishop Curry spoke, amongst many others, passionately about the need for families to be together. Um, but I think for me, the most the most moving thing this morning was uh, several of us walked up the road to the detention center. So we were right in front and I somehow found myself literally right at the front gate. Um, and we were singing songs of love, of hope, of protest, um, all to the people in the detention centers. And we know that they could hear us because in a few of the windows we could see um, their hands, we could see pieces of paper. Uh, waving back at us. So it was um, uh, haunting. Haunting is the word I would use. Um, to, but, but a blessing to be able to share God's love even in such a terrible place. So Busy Bees, I hope you will um, join me in prayer and join others around this great world in prayer, hopefully uh, ending treatment of people like this. Um, and And certainly join together in finding ways to continue this. So it's not just protest, but it can become more of a movement as well. Um, remembering, of course, that welcoming the refugee is a great part of uh, all, all traditions, but certainly the Christian tradition. Um, Jesus himself was a refugee after all. Spend some time in prayer today. Spend some time in reflection, um, knowing that your motivation, your care can come from that time of prayer. Um, so let us now pray. The Lord be with you. Gracious God, we ask that in all things you give us your healing, that you send your Holy Spirit upon this nation, heal our wounds inflicted upon ourselves, heal those who are looking for, for refuge here in this country and who we have done worse than turn away we've detained and separated from their families. Be with those of us who feel helpless so that we may know that with you, nothing is hopeless and that we might be the change you need to see in this world for the betterment of all those in need. All this we ask in the name of one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Okay, Busy Bees, thanks for following along from convention. I'm sure there will be more to tell coming up. God bless.